Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new Deadman Mode video. And in this video, the plan is super simple. We are going to be trying to climb the Deadman Mode points leaderboard. At the start of this video, we are at about rank 25. And I think it is time to start working towards increasing that rank. That being said, I really do hope you guys will enjoy today's episode. And uh, let's get right into it. I'm just going to do one run. Oh, there's someone doing it. He's cool though. Maybe I can counter him. Okay, let's see. This could actually work, you know. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> he knew it was coming. <laughs> Every now and then I will just do one Barrows run just to scout if somebody is doing it because I want to do some uh, I want to I wanna test some things out okay with this type of gear Infernal, Berserker, Fury, Claws they could go kind of in I mean these Claws are 250k but I'm also running like really funny runes Feral Fighter, Formidable Fighter and Consistency Aggression would be a little bit better I feel like I could do something crazy to somebody who's unsuspecting who thinks that I'm just uh, doing the chests you know that's what I'm waiting on. Good morning. Breach is in 19 minutes. But first, whilst we're waiting, we're just gonna go ahead and train a little bit of uh, Herblur. Uh, starting off at 58, let's see what we end up on. There we go, and we will stop it on 67, breach in 5 minutes, let's get ready. Oh my god, I got a Vesta Spear of the bat. <laughs> First kill, Vesta Spear. I feel like at the start I always get something at the very beginning. Maybe I need to start coming with the Ruby Bolts. There's too many players online for every breach. I mean, just to demonstrate, look at this. The amount of people is ridiculous. It is 12. Maybe it's because it's weakened. Ah, we got another emblem at least. Hey, we got another emblem. Oh, we got a trinket. Quick bank. Running low on a restores. Someone on me. Okay, all in all, solid breach, I'd say. Um, don't think we can complain with this one at all. Uh, we got a few emblems, couple of trinkets. I don't know about the points, probably not a lot of points because there was so many people in the single bleach. I wish they, uh, they added more health. I really wish they added more health to the bosses so they don't all just die in one hit. And I think it would be so sick. Scythe is profit, Tumekin is profit, Tebow is meh. I will just check it on the bank for now. So I lose one of the corrupted, uh, maybe the Vesta. I don't really want to uh, lose, so let's make sure we throw it in the deposit box. Yeah, we also got a PvP weapon, which, you know, you can never complain with a PvP weapon. Uh, but yeah, I haven't had enough to, uh, enough sleep, so I'm going to go ahead and have a little bit more rest. All right, I woke up again. Let's check on Barrows to see if there is any people there. Oh, okay, we have a precarious situation. Oh, that's a problem. I have no spade. I might die here. Oh, shit. Okay, well. Oh my god, no way I caught it. 
I'm a fucking moron. Where's my spade? <laughs> I caught the freeze in this gear, bro. My heart is absolutely racing. You've got no idea. What am I doing? Dude, quick thinking on those freezes though, but holy shit, I'm dumb. What are the chances the one time I go, bro? I don't have a spade, man. Oi, oi, oi. Little Barrow's back after the questionable escape. We got nothing. I'll do one more for 50. There's one PVMer right now, so if I find the right time, I could try to double claw him out. All right, here's the big chest, number 50. Good luck, us. All right, so I was paying a little bit of attention of what actually gives decent points, and I noticed that there's a lot of tasks in achievement diaries that actually give very good points. So because of that, we're going to start trying to hunt some of those down. And the first one that I see that is very easy, it was somewhere here. I don't know which one it was, but it's to kill a Scotizo. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, hopefully my gear is good enough. And then we're also going to do clue scrolls that we get from it, because clue scrolls also give decent rewards. Now, hopefully this isn't too hard and I just melt it. I think I can just melt it. Now the cool part about this boss is the pet is very likely to drop. So maybe we start walking around with a pet soon. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. So that actually gives us a bunch of points, as, as you can see. A, a bunch of points. And we get some clue scrolls and we also get more dark totem place pieces and stuff like that. So every time we then get a clue scroll, we're also going to do our best to complete it. Okay, so the next one I'm going to try to do is to kill it with a Chinchompa explosion or to take the zero damage one. We will see which one ends up working for us. Okay, that's the zero eyes. I think that's pretty good. And then the next one can be the Chinchompa or zero damage. All of that is going to skyrocket our points. All of these random achievements will just help it out a lot already on 73k. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. All right, here's the two caskets. Easy clue scroll for Gothic Roblex, which actually might sell in the pure bracket. Beginner casket for nothing. And I still need to buy both diamond bracelet and mystic fire stuff. So this might take a little bit of time. So whilst that is buying, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a bit of skilling. All right, well, we ended up going all the way to 84 wood cutting and all the way to 4,200 U-logs, which is actually a solid amount of money. Uh, but now we finally have a Mystic Fire Staff, Diamond Bracelet and Rune Boots, thanks to Pay to Play Warrior, because uh, he actually finished a quest to get me this. Yeah, for this one, I have to have Fairy Quest, so... I've been procrastinating this one so long that I guess it is time to just go ahead and do it. I'm not looking forward to it whatsoever, but I'll do it regardless. Okay, let's start the nature spirit quest. And let's see how long this one takes. And there it is. Nature spirit is now completed. And now I think we can start the fairy tale part one quest. Hey, we're on 60 farming just while doing this quest and randomly collecting stuff. Oh my god, I have to do Taibo Wanai cleanup minigame. <laughs> you can't make this up. There's also a breach in 25 minutes, so I was hoping I would finish this quest before the breach, but who knows, man, who knows. No way I got a gout tuber. <laughs> I actually got a gout tuber. That is pretty rare to get, by the way. Okay, so it appears it is a part of the medium diary for Karamja. Oh, that's a snake. So basically, the way this snake spawns, we need to spawn a mosquito. And then we get the item that we need. Oh my god, there's a the mosquito. I think that's what we needed. Proboscis. I'm pretty sure that's it. Let me just double check it. Secators, Irid Leaf, Blue Dragon Scale, and Mosquito Proboscis. Seems about right, let's dip. Okay, let's take a look. So, to do this, we will need pair of secretors, have that, eyelid leaf, have that, blue dragon scale, have that, mosquito proboscis, hopefully have that, and now I need to return to the nature spirit. Okay, well, let's not die with these items, because imagine I die with these items and I have to get it again. Oi, oi, oi. There we go, he didn't make it, he tried his best though. Queen secretors, beautiful. And this is going to be quest finished as soon as we speak to the Godfather. And then we just need to start the second part and we can start utilizing fairy rings. About them time, okay? All these clue scrolls that we want to do, it's going to be much easier to do them with fairy rings unlocked. But let's, uh, let's take it one step at a time and first finish the quest. And there is fairy tale 1 completed. Some farming XP, attack magic, don't care about that. Most importantly, magic secretors up to 64 farming. If we get this to 70, it would be amazing. I don't think I can do this right now, can I?
COVID-19 is going for us, boys. I will do it later, I guess. I can't do this quest right now. Like, there is no chance... Oh, this is my MVP, though. Yeah, I knew it. There is no way they gave enough HP to these mobs. Like, they didn't think this many people would be killing them. This could be mine, you know? Look how many hits we got. That's good. That's definitely... Okay, I have PK on me. Just got a little emblem situation. I cannot see him. I'm picking up my emblem though. Ah, he's still on me by the way. Like... This is literally like... Always work out your escapes, we bank it, we come again. Another emblem, just came back, got it immediately. He's on me again, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure somebody paid this man to rag me because he's just in trash bolts. But perma attacking me. It's a shame because I cannot see him. But yeah, he's just bolting me so I can't do the breach. Like, it's so annoying. He, he's usually the same guy, by the way. Like, he's just ragging per mine. This is, I think, such a problem. Like, this guy's never gonna kill me. Like, he's literally just ragging in, like, disaster gear. And this is a good strategy if... Because now I can't... I basically can never get any points. I just need to fight him, but I'm going to bring like the full mage gear then. This is in such a shit gear, man. It's so sad to see that this is what I have to deal with, by the way. And I guess we're going PKing. Everybody wanted me to PK, so I guess we'll do it. He might do it again. I lose so much points for him doing that, by the way. But I guess partially my fault if I just brought some PK gear. Especially to this one, I'd be alright. I didn't bring the claws though, so I don't have a really a kill chance. Another emblem, we take those. There's a few PKers around. Oh, there's an emblem on the floor again. Okay, it's that guy. I think I have a full clan just perma ragging me by the way, like they are non-stop attacking me, it's the most annoying feeling in the world, it makes me just legit not wanna even play man. It's the same guys attacking me non-stop over and over and over again. I mean the breach is over, the breach is uh, is done, it is what it is, I still I think I got good loot, it's just that points, I did not get good points and uh, that's a bit of a shame. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Fairy Tale 2, cure the queen, completed a little bit of herb, a little bit of thieving XP, and access to fairy rings. I also got a lamp that I can put on farming, and we get 25,000, so we're 65 farming already. Beautiful. Happy to have this done. Let's see if I can utilize the trinket of the fairies now without the use of the Draymond stuff. That's what I'm uh, actually really wondering. So I need to go to CKP. And looks like I can just go like this. So no Draymond stuff needed. I just click it and I go. Let's take a look. Dragon Mask and Narda Teleport. Not ideal. Okay, we got a little double casket situation right now. Let's take a look what we get. 
Ooh, Black Wizzy, Black Plate Body, little Zami page, not too bad. And the beginner casket for Sandwich Lady. All right, well, there it is. I don't know if I get any points for this, but I'm a kind of sandwich lady outfit, so there it is. Let's kill a bit of Scotizo, get more clues, finish the diaries, get more points. The way we play it is we play it safe in TP immediately, and that's what you do not like to see, and that's why we spam teleport immediately. So we should say to say we're not going to be doing Scotizo right now. Okay, I'm going to check if there's anybody doing barrows, so... A okay, little barrow's chest. I'm just doing my little scout to see if there is anybody, uh, you know, doing barrows. And there's a reason why I'm doing it in full melee again, so I can use claws to either anti PK or PK somebody that isn't expecting it. Okay, it has been a few hours of wood cutting. We're up to 85, and I think we are gonna try going for. Scotizo again. So we try to also get the diaries done. Hopefully there is nobody camping outside of it anymore. Okay, we got a clue scroll. Let's see if we can uh, get something cool out of this. Art for Sara legs. This can be useful. Gothic Scrozier, not that useful. All right, uh, let's train a bit of herb then. Oi, oi, oi. A little bit of herb, get it up, use all my secondaries. Dude, I don't know why I'm doing all of this, but I need to get trading sticks. So we're going back to clearing the jungle right now. Order. And I now have a opal machete, but most importantly, a medium task is completed. I don't know if I get points for this. I do a little bit. Uh, so now I'm going to proceed with my herb lord training. We'll see what kind of level we get to. If I utilize all my supplies, I start on 68 and we're going to really try to grind through this skill. All right, we ended up getting all the way to 82, almost 83 herb lord. And now we have the range set up. We're going to go back to Scotizo and try to kill it without uh, taking damage. There we go. We did it. Nice. So that is two tasks, one for not taking any hits and one for getting five kills. And we've done another tier. So now we have the Gomal Hilt number two. Uh, and we can also rub this. And you guys already know, we put it in farming. 100,000, we're 67. I just need to get to 70. Uh, okay, I got another quest. Why are you running? So I should probably look into all the tasks there are. Okay, so I came to conclusion, Scythe is absolutely horrible at mole. Uh, it just keeps digging around. So we're gonna change it up a bit. There it is, Sigil of the Aggression bot for 17 mil. And this is gonna be very needed for mole if we're able to do it. Okay, our Sigil of choice are Precision, Ninja and Aggression. And that is 10 kills. One of the tasks is to kill a mole in four hits. That's what uh, we will try to do, but maybe I need a B-ring for that. 4 a.m., one minute until the breach. Let's see how it goes. First emblem. Zuriel stuff, nice. I might get attacked soon here. I will not bank, it's two million only. And trinket. Another trinket for us. Well, we're getting good loot. Another emblem. I think we bank here. Two trinkets, Zuriel staff, and a bunch of stuff. There's still five minutes left. Another emblem, we just came back. Another emblem. Dude, we're farming so hard right now. There's Gothic's decay boots there. That's actually good money. I know those go for a million, so I just yoinked somebody's loot. That was the last one right there. Don't think I want to overstay for some extra loot. We got a lot of points, so we are back to rank 20 now. That's pretty good. Okay, there's double scouts here. There is some 100% action going on here. Wait, what? Why is there two scouts there? On the very first kill, I'm gonna try to just kill the zombie spawn without using crumble and that. So let's see if that's like this. There we go. Nice. Okay, next thing we're gonna try to do is to kill 10 of them in one instance. Okay, a little dragon plate skirt. Okay, so I did not bring nearly enough anti-venoms for 10 kills. So I've only done five and I'm basically running out of anti-venom. So I will have to adjust my inventory a bit. But I'm also thinking that maybe I should leave some of this for the stream rather than doing it now. Uh, actually, I'm gonna try to do this one uh, right now. So not losing any prayer points seems like something I can do. So there we go, that should do it. 
There it is, the Fateless Encounter. Probably gives quite a lot of points. I'd already updated, damn it. Okay, for our next Vorkath, we're gonna just uh, do it without a weapon. With fists, uh, that's also one of the tasks. I'll just use Consistency, Titanium and Precision. There it is, Grandmaster task completed. Only using fists, it wasn't too hard. Okay, I want a little bit of change of pace and it's been probably like an hour. Let's check the mole again and see if it is doable. Hey, there we go, 25 moles defeated, we're now a champion, and the only task left for mole is to get it in 4 hits, I think. Yeah, we just need to get it in 4 hits. Now, realistically, with the Tharok, that would be the easiest, but I think with a bit of luck I can do it with this setup as well. Oh, well, I got a sigil of the formidable fighter from the giant mole. There we go, fishing contest is now completed and I do believe I can now get a Dwarven Rock Cake unless I'm missing something. But if I can do that, I have uh, some spicy things planned. There we go, cool. I need to make sure I hide it and there is nobody around, but there it is, boys, the full Derok. We are ready to absolutely annihilate this giant mole and most likely die in the process. However, this was 700k, 250, 250, 150, so I'm actually risking less than I was risking before. Uh, we are gonna be going with aggression, ninja and precision, and we are basically hoping to complete the task. We are gonna try to do this on 1 HP, uh, so the likelihood of us dying is a little bit too high, but sometimes you have to risk it. I think I will only do this method until I get the diary. I think I just did it, by the way. Was that it? I guess the zeros do not count. Yeah, finish them all. Okay, well, there it is. 110. I can't just hit 110 max hit. What the fuck? Oh, I got a tier 5 from the mole. Oh, and also 50 KC, which is uh, very nice. KC 65 and at the moment I'm thinking I will try to push the KC all the way to 100 and then move on to new things. There it is, big 100 mole completed and somehow we didn't die. I don't ask me how, I've no clue, we should be dead but we are not and uh, we'll take the points. We're currently ranked 20, exactly. Alright, the last time I attempted this I got 1 KC and then immediately team logged in. This time it is Monday, super early in the morning and I'm just gonna go and attempt the DKs for a bit. Okay, so now I just need to get hit by that guy. And that should count. There we go, we got one task. Okay, so the next one is to kill the ranger whilst being hit by all of them. So I might just go to bank, wait and do it all over again to get the other task completed as well. Okay, and that works. So I've done the simple tasks and I'm just gonna focus on the KC tasks, nothing fancy. I can also try to do a task where I kill them kind of at the same time. I got Sears ring as well. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. I think I get it. Did I get a cool task? Rapid succession, I got it. Nice. That was first try. Nice, pretty happy with this. I'll take a, a look at what other tasks I could maybe make uh, quickly, uh, but that's gonna be a big influx of points. So very good. Okay, the next combat achievement I'm gonna try to do is to kill a prime using a thrown X special attack bounced of a Dagonoth Rex. It's so crazy because I could just be killing these bosses, but instead I'm doing, I'm doing all this funky stuff. Just like that, and that should be it. And we get a mud battle staff as a reward. But where's my achievement? We'll try it again, but first I'm gonna just kill Rex whilst being attacked by everything, because that's another task that I think it's pretty easy. There we go, and that's a simple one as well. Yes, I'll try to kill this guy same time as I kill this guy now. Oh, that one didn't work, because I didn't hit the other guy with it. I really wanna do this one. Rune Throne next special attacks bounced off Rex. Dude, it's so weird trying to do all these fancy things. I've never done combat achievements in this game. I could try to kill both of these at the same time though. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Nice. I actually did it. That was not that hard. Toppling the... I'm getting a bunch of stuff that I didn't even know existed. Uh, I'm gonna once again go to safety, analyze which one I want to work on next. So taking a look at Supreme, all we need from Supreme is just kills. So that is done. 
all we need from Rex is kills and kills. So that's basically done. And all I need from Prime is kills, kills and using throwing nexus off a Rex to kill it. So this is what I want to work on next right here. That works. That's a bounce for sure. There it is. Okay. This time it worked. I did it the exact same way as I did it last time, but this time it didn't bug out. Now the priority is to kill Rex more times than others because he can drop a Berserker Ring and Berserker Ring goes for about 8 million right now whilst the other two rings only go for 2 million. In an ideal world I kill 100 of each of the bosses for max amount of points but that's an ideal world and that almost never happens because realistically we will most likely die here. There we go that's 10 primes defeated. More points. Ooh another Dragon Axe. Nice. That's money. <laughs> another Dragon Axe. Surprisingly they go for 400k each by the way. A lot of points, like 100 and something. I've completed every Dagonoff Supreme task there is. I got a nice sum of points. Currently, with all these points, uh, we are moving up to rank uh, 17 overall. So I think that's pretty good. Another Dragon X. I think that's like my fourth one. And that does it, I think. There we go. I think with this skill, we also got another Dragon X, which is huge. But we've completed the case. Everything from here on out is a luxury. Dragon of Supreme completed, Rex completed, Prime completed. Now it's just a matter of getting kill count. Here's the ring, let's get it. Probably worth banking and don't want to risk the rings while I'm here. Uh, I think that's two Sears rings and no other rings so far. In about 100 KC, I'd say. Yeah, Berserker Ring. Okay, we're dipping straight to bank. Yes, sir. That is 7 million right now. Oh, that's huge. Ah, the very first expensive drop. Nice. I have never had this happen to me. All of the three guys are under each other. That is funny. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the first time this has happened to me and I've been playing. Okay, Archer's Ring back to back. Let's get it. That is craziness. No, my god, back to back. Oh, almost, like, I don't even know. I just came back and I got another Berserker ring, which is another 7 mil, and I like, like, what's going on? Like, what is actually going on? Oh, another Archer's ring. Oh my goodness, this is so common. Or I'm really lucky, I don't know which one it is, but it's crazy. Oh my god, back to back Dragon X. Dragon X sells for 250k at the moment, so it adds up. We've had like six. Oh my goodness, another Archer's Ring. What is going on? We are up to 50 kill count on the Supreme, 35 on the Prime, and 46 on the Rex. Oh my, even got a Circle. That is crazy. No way I got another Berserker ring. No way I got another B ring. Dude, dude, this is crazy by the way. They sell for 7 mil instantly. It's so crazy because the bridge is in one hour and I'm definitely burning out as in I'm really tired. But at the same time the loot is so crazy right now. And the fact that I'm uncontested, kinda nice. And if I were to die, I couldn't care less because the money we make is a lot more. Or the money we made, rather. Oh, my, another Dragon Axe. Yoink. Oh my, another one. Actually, another Archer's Ring. How am I gonna sell all of these? I wish I knew how many I have. Hold up, I'm gonna look it up. So I've had four Archer's Ring. I've had two Sears Rings. And I've had three Berserker rings. That's mad. Well, it is time for me to play it safe and actually sell the items that we got. Uh, sold two Berserker rings for 7 million each. I have all these Dragon Axes now. I have all these Archer rings. Dude, I have way too many Archer rings. I got the Sears rings. I got Berserker ring. Maybe there's something left in the bank as well. But what a trip. I'm gonna chill now. The breach is in an hour. And uh, what an end to an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, a simple like goes a super long way. And I'll be seeing you again, hopefully, every single day for as long as possible. Have a good one and bye-bye.